Good evening. Some phones are ringing. Some are busy. Some are just deadlines. That's what's happening as local Haitians try desperately to call friends and family in and around the earthquake-ravaged city of Port-au-Prince in Haiti. A city-sponsored resource center in Dorchester has had a steady stream of visitors today, all desperate to connect with someone or anyone back home. Since Tuesday's earthquake, Nadej Dupan has been on the phone nearly nonstop, trying 13 different numbers in Haiti over and over. She's desperate for any word about her 14 brothers and sisters living in Port-au-Prince. If they call me or they call in the radio to tell me, okay, what's going on? I know they're on the street because everything is destroyed, but I just want to hear, is they still alive? That's all right. To help residents like DuPont track down loved ones, the city of Boston, along with the Public Health Commission and SEIU Local 1199, have opened a resource center with free international calling, computers, and grief counselors. Remember, uh, whatever happened in Haiti, we have people here that live here. That's affecting them a lot. You know, they have a lot of stress. It's a haven for Andrea Janvier, who says in the face of this week's devastating images, she can't function. I'm not feeling okay. <laughs> and you see, can see that they just give me something because I feel dizzy and I feel because I'm not sleeping well and I'm, I'm not eating well because past all day, all night, talk, calling, try to call, call, even you call, I call Haiti. And Jeremy Vedrine says when a call does go through, the line quickly goes silent a situation that's reduced him to tears. Uh, we tried the, the whole day yesterday, nothing at all. And I've been trying this morning, nothing at all. So we're going to keep trying until we get an answer. But it may not be the answers they want to hear. Herbert Jean-Baptiste, head of the Resource Center, says the news he's learning from family members he has been able to reach is not good. People is on the street. Uh, people like I know can get food. Uh, they cannot get water. Uh, they don't have no place to go. And neither do these family members whose best hope is to wait by the phone.